I do a few different things at Valve, but uh, one thing that we're really interested in there is the notion of biofeedback and how it can be applied to, to game design. Um, we think that there's kind of, I guess, potential on, on both sides of the equation, both for using uh, the embezzlement of physiological signals to kind of, in a sense, quantify emotional state while people are playing the game and getting an idea of how people are actually like emotionally experiencing your game in a, a somewhat more granular fashion than you could get from just watching them or hearing them think aloud or asking them questions after the fact. But the, uh, the more interesting side of the equation is what you can do when you uh, incorporate physiological signals into gameplay itself, have, have them act as inputs to the game. If you think about it right now, um, with basically almost, I guess I would say, every game on the market, uh, the way it works is you kind of map player intent into on-screen behavior, right? A player does something, presses the B button, swipes in a certain fashion, holds down a trigger, and that's converted into a representation on screen. Um, that's great, and we can do a lot with that, and we can create you know, incredibly compelling and novel and immersive experiences that way. But if you think about it, we're missing kind of a, you know, a whole other access to the player's experience. Like, what is, our play what is the player's emotional state um, while they're playing the game? How are they enjoying the game? How challenged do they feel about the game? How frustrated do they feel about the game? Um, if we could start map tapping into that, all of a sudden you have this, a, a whole other wealth of data you could use to create, in a theory, you know, more novel and more compelling gameplay experiences. Um, so we're very curious about what we can do when we, when we take that data and feed it into a game and have the game respond dynamically to a player's emotional state. Um, I don't have the, the slides with me, but uh, we, we talked about this publicly a couple of years ago, so if you're curious, you can go to the Valve website and see the slides, or um, if you have access to the GDC videos, you can see the videos, but we've actually taken um, skin conductance, so uh, just measurements of kind of, that's uh, um, not how much you're sweating, it's actually the pH content of your sweat, but it's, uh, it's basically highly correlated with arousal, and we actually feed that um, into one of our games, Left 4 Dead, and had that kind of replace an estimated notion of arousal that our game used, and tried to create kind of a better experience um, we also actually uh, created kind of a mod of a game uh, where you have kind of a time limit to, to shoot 100 enemies. You have four minutes to do so. Um, but if you stay calm, the time you have plenty of time. If you start getting aroused, the time starts ticking down quicker and quicker. And so all of a sudden, the gameplay experience is qualitatively changed because you're not just aware of your skill in the game, but you're aware of, okay, how nervous am I and how is that impacting my future performance? Um, the other thing that we did was just kind of as an off-axis, but is um, playing around with kind of different modalities is letting you play games with your eyes. Um, you know, we, right now we use a, a mouse as an input device. Um, and you know, mouses are great. Um, you get one-to-one -one precision. Uh, it's a zero order control. I mean, it works very well for what it does, but the eyes are quicker. Um, so if you're creating a game where kind of, you know, accuracy of movement and speed of movement is incredibly important, you can imagine the eyes being, in theory, a more appealing case. So we um, created a version of Portal 2 that you could actually play a game with your eyes. And I, while it's you know it's still experimental, it actually worked pretty well, and so we were quite pleased with that. Um, so yeah, I think just I guess from the perspective of Valve, like we'd love to see more game developers at least thinking along these lines, right? Trying to see what's possible when you actually incorporate this whole other access of player experience that is being ignored by traditional control schemes. And so it's great to see so many people here who are interested. And um, yeah, happy to chat with anybody afterwards if, if you have thoughts along those lines. <laughs>